All right. Congrats to us again. Bernie and Sid in the morning. Just awarded the most outstanding morning show in New York City by the New York State Broadcasters Association. 53rd annual award, and we win it. Didn't even know about it. See, Ar- Arnie, this is where you got to be smarter. The great defense attorney, Arthur Idala. You're great on radio. I don't say that because you're here. You can do your own show tomorrow, and you have. So last week, for example, you have the opportunity to host your own show, which is great. I've been doing it for 12 years, hosting my own morning shows. That's, and all, that's all? Seriously? 12, that's it. Okay. So you got a chance to, to fill up Episcopal, host your own show, and that's great. And you're, you're exhausting. You, every, all of you listeners do not understand what these guys actually do. Yeah. Four hours starting at 6 a.m. to talking, which means you're up at like 3.30 and you're, I mean, Bernie's up at 2 or whatever time he's up. Not easy. Not easy. It's definitely not easy. And you got to try to keep it interesting and flowing. You got to keep keep the energy up and changing the topic. You've only been doing it since the 80s. You do all that. But you do all that. You're good. You're great at that. But here's, you got to be smarter. You have a chance to host that show. Which nobody listens to. I'm sorry. Not a, not a, oh, Hold on. My mom. My oh, okay. mom was listening. Mom, okay. My dad right. was listening. Very important. <laughs> very important. <laughs> right. uh, right. Demographic. Or, or you got a chance to end up on my birthday show, which, by the way, I ended know. up in Talkers Magazine with Mark Levin and Lawrence Taylor. And I was on your birthday show the year before, by the way. Yes, I you looked won. at my, I looked at my, uh, and that was the big birthday, right? The year before. That was, no, 50. two years was my 50th. I'm okay. 52 now. Wow. Point being, really? You look very good. Right. You, you work out. <laughs> I just wanted because I want to go on your Instagram page and really check you out. <laughs> look at you, looking at yourself in You're the funny. mirror wow. in Isn't the that gym. Great? Very lame. Wow, people better have a lot of time on their hands. Like, hey, what do you want to do? You want to go to the movies? Let's go see a Broadway show. No, let's go on for, Instagram uh, and look at M-Drive. Sid's workout see, picture. See what Artie just did? He just turned it all around. Exactly. You're a brilliant uh, He's an attorney. attorney yes. All I'm saying is it's great to host your own show, and you're good enough to do it every day. I mean that. But you got to forego that. We have a chance to be on a show that just won well, the you, best listen, morning show you in New York City. Up, I, I want to know something. I want, if you want to bring this up, you insist, and you, Sid, not Bernie, Sid, you yeah. insist that I am in studio, which I love being in studio. Right. But sometimes when I can't be in studio, you're like, no, 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 it's better off in the studio. Then I hear Scaramucci, Takapina, Bob Lowry. Bill O'Reilly. Oh, right. everybody. No one's in studio. I'm the only guy who makes the effort you're to the only, come here. The only, I love say it. It, say it. I'm I love the only it. schmuck that I has to come into the studio live. Well, because I like it because I get to see Joe. Right. Who's my flipper, flirty right. flipper of friend. Course, of course. And yes. it, I definitely think it's better radio to be in your guy's presence. Well, you, but, you, you know, you, Sid, no. every once in a while, if I can't come in because I have to be a lawyer. I put you, you on the phone. Like a, I, put I know you on I had a bag. You don't got a bag. You don't got a bag. I mean, look. You know, you want to bring this up? We could go, bro. Hey, Takapina goes and comes on every week. Meanwhile, the guy, if you had a heart attack, he'd be like, Sid, you all right? Uh, I got to go. I got to go. Let's, let's, let's get to this funny one. Let's get serious. Well, we we get the psychology, okay? Okay. And there's something called Penis envy. I'm serious. Little girls actually have penis envy. Why you, Little when you're girls. the man in town, you got Harvey Weinstein's case today, you're on TV every day, you look great wearing a boot suit. What is this, this hidden a jealousy of Joe Tacopino. No, jealousy. Oh, what? my God. I probably helped to <laughs> propel his career more I, than I anybody. would go with rivalry, not jealousy. Maybe, <laughs> maybe probably, a slight I rivalry. His, the guy wanted to go to Italy, right? Who do he has to go with? Me. You no, know why? No. Joe, his was his version no. of I speak Italian. No. Pasta, vino, uh, pane, which is bread. You know, no, by, the way, by, by, the way, by the way, do you know who Jose Baez called before you? He, uh, Joe Tacopino. I think he called Sid Joe Tacopino. Really? No, I made that oh, up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. listen uh, we love Joe. Or, or I, I just, you know, I would say that, you know, I, you give Joe a lot of airtime, and I'm just looking for, you know, a little bit of love, Sid. Just a little a, bit of love. You're a great guest. I you would, love you, your wife. You would, you would win the award right now for Bernie and Sid's most outstanding guest. Whoa! All right, there it is. You, you, you got it. You, went, you get a free bagel on the way out. Listen, I'm glad we're speaking of legal substance this morning. But look, uh, Artie Idol was on TV for for like a dozen years on Fox exactly, News TV. I with mean, you. You are a big star. With I mean, you, yeah. And, and, I, and I love Joe Tacopina in a big way, but there's no reason no, to be envious of uh, Joe, Joe Tacopina. You guys are equal. His daughter, Olivia, is my goddaughter. I love his wife, Tish. And the bagels are here. Woo! Yeah. So, uh, so have gonna... a bagel before you go to court because you do have this very big Harvey Weinstein now, what do you got a little hearing pre, today? A little pre-trial hearing. You have right. to decide what jurors can hear, what they can't hear. Not, and truth be told, my wife is actually doing the argument. Marianne is arguing a big portion of the case. Well, that's case. how you got the gig. As Baez is, wanted a woman, so he threw you on as a favor. I right. think Baez... Uh, Wait a Mr. No, I think Jose Baez and Ron Sullivan just wanted someone who's been in that courthouse. And I'm not, you know, Jose's from, from Florida, and, and Ron Sullivan's a Harvard law, law professor... 
you, you got to at least know where the bathrooms are, who the court officers are, who the stenographer is. You know, those kinds right, of things. That's right. why he brought us here. Well, but look, let me, on a serious note, I mean, Harvey, why, it, it, swift justice. Whatever happened? This has been going on for like three damn years or something like that. No, it actually hasn't. Is he, it, um, the more he, money you have, the more you can postpone no, no, things? No, Actually, one of, it's funny you're going to say that. One of the arguments is uh, the trial date is, statistically speaking, of New York trials is about right now six months ahead of the average trial date. Average trial date from arrest to trial is a year and a half. Really? And the, the court wants us to go to trial in about 13 months. Um, so we'll see what happens. Oh, so you get, you, you're being treated unfairly, maybe, you're saying. Well, I mean, I, Even, I, I, I'm not going to go as far as saying unfairly. All I'm saying, he's not getting any special treatment. But Cy so. Vance, uh, the, he's, he put it off for a long time. Cy Vance took money from uh, Harvey Weinstein. Uh, I, think his camp- took, I think what the ale- allegations were, he took it from his uh, his lawyer. But that's right, that's, right. The, that, that's, the, there, that's the, that, the, that happens all the time. And, and uh, I, that's not going to change. You know, a, a, Two thousand dollar campaign contribution is not going to let anyone flush their yeah. their career down the. You know, what I'm surprised mm-hmm. about Artie is that in a lot of these high profile cases, my mom gets annoyed when you call me Artie. She prefers it when you call me Arthur. Okay, Artie. So listen. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mom. I, 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 I listen, try. my darling. <laughs> I try. So, so I, I, I love you. I love your mom. I, actually, oh, you know what's great? You call love. my little two year old son Artie in front of Marion. That'll be a woo. She gets crazy. Yeah, you know, t- I don't know why my grandpa no. was Artie Idol. He was the famous boxing judge. And, listen, you know, my mother for years got mad when people called me Sid. She He's like, his, his name, name is Sydney. Sydney. Right. Oh, so I, I get listen. it. I get it. Your mom is right. So, Arthur, listen. Um, a lot of these high-profile cases, we get to know the attorneys, whether it's you and Jose Baez in the Weinstein case, Takapina, Bandra, Sloot, Cochran, OJ. We get to know them. You know, uh, the, the maybe the biggest story in this city in the last year was the Vetrano case. Oh. And he's going to prison forever, Chanel Lewis. And I can't tell you one attorney. That worked on well, that case. I'll tell you why. It was the legal. Right. It was the legal aid uh, society that represented for him. Him. Correct. Right. And they did a great job. But what about they, the prosecution? The uh, you know, I knew the prosecutor's name, but See, I don't. But right. not, not a- well, because first of all, let's be honest. There was no the, celebrities involved. And, and, and it's also the as as much media coverage as it got. The way it works in New York, so people know, if the case is in Manhattan, it's huge. If it's right. in the federal courts, it's huge. Right. Brooklyn, now you're you're at levels, you step down. Okay. And then when you get to Queens, Ten Island, the Bronx, it's like if there's some 20 year old kid reporter who's trying to make his name in the news, they'll send them there for like the summations. I mean, I've I've handled big cases in Queens, and it's you don't get the kind of coverage you get when you're in Manhattan, Brooklyn, oh, okay. or in the federal courts. That's mm-hmm. number one. I'm so, I'm glad you brought that case up. There's just something in that case that's not sitting right for me. Really? Um, the first trial, they, they, I think it was a two, three week trial. The jury goes out. They send back the first note that they're, they're, they are hung and they, they can't decide normal. And the judge lets them go home. He, he calls a mistrial. That is not typical. Normally, that happens two or three times. The judge gives them what's called an Allen charge and says, listen, everyone here has worked very hard. You guys have to go back in there, keep an open mind, start deliberations from the beginning, and, and really try your best to reach a verdict. That's after usually two or three or four days of deliberation or two or three or four of those notes. In that first trial, he did it on the first, the first time they came out and they said, oh, we're, we're hopelessly deadlocked. Something doesn't smell right there. And then on the well, second... Well, what are you tr- thinking then? What, what is well, your... I, look, this is just what rumors are. Yeah, bottom, rumors bottom are, line. you know, the, the word around the courthouse was there was a possibility that that jury was actually leaning heavily towards acquitting him. Right. And the judge disbanded the jury before that could happen. Now, I don't know if that's true. Well, they I know say, they judge, say, well, they say the judge. Well, judge. He say, they say the judge was wearing the family's colors, that the judge was clearly on the side of the Vetranos. That came out after both trials. Well, all both. I say is that Judge Alois, who's a, is a very nice man, and he's a good judge. He's a seasoned judge. But he is no secret. He leans towards the prosecution very heavily, as I would say the majority of judges well, listen. do. Go ahead. Go ahead. And, uh, and so, and then in the second trial, I think the day of the summations or the before the summations, the, the legal aid society, those lawyers get a letter written by clearly someone who had inside information, had knowledge of what had taken place in the investigation, and basically said the investigation was not done properly. So then they asked the judge, Your Honor, could we just take a pause? Can we do a little hearing? Could we see 
call a witness and see if anything that's written in this letter is true and that this guy is actually being set up and framed because there was so much pressure on the NYPD to solve this case. Uh They found a simpleton guy. And, you know, look, we're all pro NYPD. I love the NYPD. Stop it. But every once in a while, someone screws up. That's what I was saying for weeks. I was getting killed in the episode doing what I'm doing right now. Let me just say uh, we should have you and Takapina on the same day because Takapina and I agreed that the evidence was overwhelming, that his DNA was in her fingernails. He had cuts on his fists that were consistent with punching her in the teeth, and he confessed twice. I mean, among many other so things. And that's Takapina says that guy the, is dead. The only to thing guilty. that I question there is the, really the confessions. Right, of course. I mean, very real quick. When I first became a defense lawyer, I just left the Brooklyn DA's office. <clears throat> there were eight people shot in the Fulton Mall in Brooklyn. It was all over the newspapers. The mom retains me. I go to the court. I go to the precinct. And the detectives think I still work for the DA's office. They're like, hey, Audie, how you doing? No, you can't talk to me. Lawyer it up. I'm like, yeah, I'm the lawyer. They're like, oh, that's right. We forgot. <laughs> I go in, the kid is absolutely crying. He's hysterical. He's like, I didn't do this. I didn't do this. I go, they told me you confessed. He goes, yeah, I confessed after the detective put the gun into my ribs Mm -hmm. and told me if I say this, this, and this, Mm -hmm. that they'll make a deal with the DA's office. Long story short, in one week, I found a video of him at Blockbuster Video in Queens 20 minutes before he's supposed to be shooting up the Fulton Mall. So unless he had a police escort from Queens to Brooklyn, the case was dismissed and they found the guy who actually did it, who wound up pleading guilty and going right. to jail. Well, it could, so, you combine you know, a conf- two confessions with like the DNA Like, you guys are evidence. great radio hosts. So, and they were great. 99.9% NYPD guys are great. Sometimes there's a bad egg in the mix. Yep. That You know, you want to talk about Harvey Weinstein. The lead detective here got thrown off the case because of improprieties that the prosecutor found out that he did. And they threw him off the case. So... All I'm saying is, you never say never. That case, the Vitrano well, case, will be looked at very heavily by the appellate there's division. There's no evidence of any of that, by the way. What you just said, it's all speculation. And right. The evidence was overwhelming. So, uh, we'll, the, the, again, we get the appellate Taka, division will look at Taka Pina I'm with and, and Idala should debate I'm with this. You. I'm just, with you. Like a but I made that argument on this show for weeks Jill, and weeks. Let's get them everything on. from DNA to coerced confessions. You could explain all of it away. You can. Let, let's you get can. them on together. Tacopina and I. As long as there's going to be some Italian food, <laughs> you got preferably it. Preferably Sicilian food, like rice bowls. How about a, how about a congratulations, nice. old aside. You guys how about won a big award. How about an Irish sausage? Hey, here. whatever you want, Bernie. That's a big award you guys won. I mean, that's no you. joke. Thank you. And, and it's a real award. Like people should like. with these, just so you know, lawyers, we get in the mail once a week. Pay us $300 and you'll be one of the 100 best lawyers in America and you right. can hang it up on your wall. It's insane. It's crazy. It's, it's criminal, really. But this is a legitimate Wait, award. And I, I, it's I mean, you kind of just dismissed it a little bit, but thank you. No, right. no, no, no. I said this is a legitimate <laughs> oh, award. I said man. this is a hey, legitimate listen, award. Le- legitimately, we love Arthur Idala. All right. Yes. We do. We really do. I Arthur. am going to spend all weekend on Instagram looking at Sid's workout pictures. <laughs> I cannot wait to see how buff my man is. Arthur, have a great weekend. Good luck today. God bless. Seriously. You guys your, are the best. Uh, thank endeavors. you, Jeff, for being and beautiful. <laughs> on the Bernie and Sid show on WABC Radio. We're coming right back. Bernie and Sid in the morning, 77 WABC. <laughs>